In this Pixel Dot 2 review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Pixel Dot 2. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount link down there so you can always get your money's worth for this software. Pixel.2 is a software where you can transform your links into powerful marketing tools. So this is what you should see once you have first entered the software, whether you're actually logging in or signing up for the first time. So this is the main dashboard page, which is a really good feature that a lot of softwares have these days, where you can see all of your main analytics straight as you log in, so it saves yourself time. This is a good feature that this software actually provides, so you can again save yourself some time with the analytics. So I'm going to quickly go through each feature, and then throughout the review, I'm going to dive deeper into each feature. So again, straight off the bat, we are on this dashboard page where we can see these different features. We've got the traffic for the last 24 hours, traffic for the last 7 days, last 30 days, and last 6 months. Pretty straightforward, you can see your traffic through this software, which is a pretty good feature so you can perfectly market your tools and your links through this software. Save yourself time and effort with this area. Right below that we then have the data section where we can see the different data of the links you've created. We haven't created any yet but this is where they should appear once they've been created. You have your short, destination, tags, pixels, visits, owner and activity and actions. Once we've created some they should appear here for us to go more in depth with. So straight in the top left hand corner we can go straight to creating a short link or even bulk import. Once you click create short link, you can see it opens up this page on the right hand side where you can get straight to creating your link. We have the pixel.2 default, the destination, QR design, tags and pixels. So the destination is the URL you're actually inputting where you want people to actually land once they click the link. So if I were then to go ahead and actually input a URL just like that, we can now move on to the QR design. You can also change the QR design from basic to whatever other design you've created. As you can see, I've created one there, but you can also go ahead and design one straight from the QR design section. We're gonna leave it as basic for now and then get onto the QR design soon. Next, you can add your tags. Right there, I've got two tags that I've already created. All you have to do is type it in there, name your tag and click add tag. So you can click and add as many as you need, software and review for the sake of this software review and then also add your pixels as well. Once you are happy with the information you have inputted, you can actually preview it right here with the title, description and image if you need to add them, and also your parameters like UTM source, UTM medium and UTM campaign. Again, once you are happy with all the information you've filled in, just click save and it should take a couple of seconds to load and there you go, in under 30 seconds, you have created your URL through this software. You can then see the traffic that's clicked on this link. You can then copy it, paste it anywhere and see the traffic that goes to this link in this software all in one section. Pretty much saving yourself time and effort in one software. Right here, as I said before, once you've created your link, it should appear here. You have the link that people can click there. You can actually see the preview, see your tags, pixels, visits, owner, activity and actions. You can copy it, edit it, duplicate it, download your QR code, analytics and delete so not only can you see all of your analytics from all of your links here you can also see the personal ones for each link again to make it more composed for your experience so next we're going to go to the left hand side onto this navigation bar next we're going to go onto the analytics and you can see we can actually create a short link or bulk import as we go through the software so you can always go back to it and save yourself time. On this analytics section is where the clicks and all of the data from your links would flow through all in one section with very integrated and intricate details for your links. So right here you have your top links, sources, locations and devices. Personally, I think the locations and devices section is really good in case you want to cater to a certain audience through this marketing tool. So once you've actually had people click on your link, you can then again cater it to a certain audience and double down on your audience. So there's not much data going through this section for us because we've only just started, but once people are clicking on your link for your business or whatever marketing you're using it for, it should flow through here. Back to the left hand side on the tag section, we can see the tags we have created or the tags I created earlier on before this video. You can see the name of them, owner, added and actions. To quickly add a tag, all you have to do is add your tag up here and click add tag. Pretty simple and easy to use, not too complicated. You can just use it really quickly and add as many tags as you need for you to better market your URL in just a couple of seconds. 
Same with the pixels, you just go ahead and add the platform pixel identifier and name your pixel, add it, and it should appear here just like the tags did as well. The domains is again the same, add your domain right here and then just click add domain and all the data should flow through here like the name, owner, added and actions. And finally on the QR code section, probably my favorite section of this software, you can actually add your personalized QR code. So this is really good because all you have to go ahead and do is click add QR code and it opens up this section just like the first URL link section. It's really easy and quick to actually create this. Honestly, it could literally take five seconds for anyone just by clicking add QR and then save at the bottom if you don't need to make any changes. So you can change the primary region if you want to, secondary region and add an image if you need to personalize it. Same with your reference and then your QR code is right here. Again, if you want to go ahead and get this as quick as possible in pretty much under five seconds, you would just click add QR code and then click save. And there you go, your QR code is right there. You can preview it, duplicate it and delete it. Really easy and really intuitive. You can create a QR code in a matter of seconds for your marketing tools and your links to help yourself grow through them. And that's pretty much it for this software. It doesn't really have much else. It's really simplistic, but it's really great in what it does. And there you go, that is it for the Pixel Dot 2 software review. Overall, I think there's a couple of features that I personally like, and those features is how easy it is to use, how straightforward it is, and how fast it is, and how much time it saves you creating your link for your marketing tools. The software is really good at actually creating them and there's a couple of good customizations as well in case you want to customize it. But the main focus point of this that I personally like is again, how fast and time saving it actually is. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone who needs a software where it markets URLs and QR codes, this is the best one for that. As you can see throughout the review, it's really quick and easy for anyone to use. Would I use this myself? Again, yes, I would. There's a couple of features that I like really easy to use and really fast and would save me time if I needed a QR code. Overall, 10 out of 10 software and I would use it again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.